What um, challenge, Coach Campbell talked about their size in addition to the speed they're known for. How much do they challenge you, not only in the passing game, but the running game as well? Yeah, I think quite a bit. You know, the, the size is something that certainly stands out, and I think you know, uh, you know, up front they're 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 certainly big guys and, and very skilled. Um, you know, and the, the linebackers are big people. You know, and then and then I think in the perimeter, you know, they, they run really well. But I also think their length is something that's certainly a concern. There's a lot of tip balls, and you know, there's a lot of uh, a lot of pressure with just a four man rush. This week is um, this week is Senior Day. Um, I guess maybe tell me a little bit about what this group of seniors has meant to you throughout this program this year. Yeah, you know, we we talked about it quite a bit as an offense, even you know this week, and you know, I it, it's uh, you know I told them you know I'm not a real uh, a sentimental or emotional person, um, you know, but I can't help but uh, be gracious and and so. You know, so so proud of the guys. Um, I have a tremendous amount of respect of this group of seniors and, and what they've been able to do and how they've they've bought into you know really deciding to make a change um, and just the way that they've led and been really constant and steady through you know really the end of last season until now and really kind of taking the bulls by the horn and you know just so proud of them. Um, you know, I have so much respect for them and really a tremendous amount of love for the group because they're just, they're as good of a group of kids as I've ever been around. Um, you know, they, what's fun about them is that they're, they're fun to coach because they, they, number one, they want to be coached. Um, number two, you know, they want to be pushed. And I think that's something, there's a difference between wanting to be coached and, and really wanting to be, you know, held accountable for, for everything. And, you know, they've just done such a great job, and not only are there some tremendous players in that group, but I think there's a lot of guys too that, you know, Iowa State has meant so much to them, and you know they have given so much back, and, and really have given more of themselves, and that's what we always talk about is, you know, are you willing to give more of yourself than you take? And this group of seniors has been tremendous in that regard. What's Jake Campos meant to this line over this season? Well, I think you know, first obviously he's had a very consistent, you know, consistent play. <laughs> Which has been a lot, you know, um, but I, I think he's, especially with so many young offensive linemen in our group, um, you know, guys that maybe are redshirting or, uh, you know, are going through the process of, of just getting here and kind of, you know, learning how to, to function in college football. I think he's meant so much more. Number one, he's just an, he's an example, um, and I think he's a great example of there's going to be in this game there's going to be a lot of adversity that's going to come your way, and how you handle it is really what, what your character is and what your makeup is and you know that good things happen to good people that are willing to work hard so he's been a lot uh, he means a lot to me I think he's a special kid and a tremendous leader um, and he's just he's he's a good guy to be around because he does it the right way what about the perseverance they've shown because like your second year here they experienced last year four times including a redshirt year some of them like a campos and a Lanny. can you talk Touch on that, that to the way they persevered. Yeah, you know, I think the the first thing is is that that position is not uh, it's not real easy to play, um, and it's it's not a whole lot of fun all the time either. You know, I think there's, you know, if you look at just the if you if you look at football from a uh, you know a very kind of you know black and white standpoint, uh, you know, no one grows up wanting to be an offensive lineman. Um, because there's really nothing fun that you get to do, and you know I always equate it to if you, if you let if you put uh, you give the guys some free time and you threw a football out on the field, the guys that are like pretending to play catch and drag their toes, you know, inbounds and those kind of things are usually the offensive linemen because they all they want to do is touch the ball because nothing's fun, you know. And you know even in walkthrough days, I battle that like I don't let them hold the ball because they just want to <laughs> throw it and catch it and. You know, I, I, that group of kids on the, on that front of it, I think just to get through that anywhere um, and go through your five years as an offensive lineman is hard. And I think in their case, you know, you look at them, there's guys that no one's had it easy. You know, that group of seniors, uh, Jake's had, you know, multiple injuries that he's really had to battle back from. And, you know, Robbie Garcia played defensive line. And, you know, you. Sean Curtis is, you know, he, he's been through a lot. He's been through position changes. And, and Brian Larson came in as a 230-something pound offensive lineman. And, you know, he's done a really good job. And, 
You know, so I just think it's a, uh, it's a testament to the kids that, that have worked incredibly hard. Um, and I'm certainly grateful that they've done that because they've been a great group to be around. Coach, are you doing anything special to get ready for this weekend? No, I think, you know, Coach, Coach Gasser does a tremendous job uh, preparing our wide receivers every week. You know, I think if you, that group has been so constant in, in the way that they've performed and, and prepared and, you know, they've blocked extremely well. And I think the one thing you see from that group is you don't see missed assignments um, and you see a whole lot of effort. And I think that's a really special group. Uh, you know, we're, the, our process stays pretty much the same regardless of what the week is and what the, what the situation is. So. We're going to continue to do that. Coach, I had heard that Kyle Kemp's shoulder was a little bruised up. Um, yeah, I wouldn't gain any. Uh, I wouldn't. That wouldn't have been indicative to me at practice today. You know, he threw the ball pretty well today.